Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just spending time in my studio and before I start um, to, to really get down to painting I decided to do some organizing and some cleaning because it's needed to be done for a long time. I'm hoping that afterwards it'll feel a lot more peaceful and I'll have a lot more space to create. If you're thinking, wow, does she ever have a lot of stuff in that corner, you'd be right. So I'm just going to get right at it. I can show you a few things. I've got everything from an overhead magnifying light to picture frames to a, an upside down monkey. Like who doesn't need one of those? All right, let's go. First of all, there's lots of books and these are all uh, art books by other artists that I admire. Part of my problem is that I just don't have enough places to put things. This pile, for example, is watercolor paper, um, a cardio hula dancing DVD, and old children's books. These are all little pieces of paper that I use to test out my colors. When they get to the point where they're absolutely full, like these, they become bookmarks. I love inks, papers, writing, anything to do with paper art, and I found these. Um, they're antique ink blotters. This one is leather covered, and I found it at a little antique store in Niagara on the Lake in Ontario. And this one is bird's eye maple. You can see the um, little spots in it that make it so pretty that I found at an outdoor market in Quebec a couple of years ago. So they're just my collections. However, they don't really need to be here on my table. and ends that I don't know what to do with are going in this, this container. But first, I suppose I should get the dust out of it. Shoe paint. 
paint. Am I ever going to paint shoes this color? I don't think so. Bitter glue that I will give to my granddaughter. But in the meantime, it's in there. little wooden shapes I picked up somewhere. Tiny postcards. A giant seashell that can find another home. sketchbook that has as much writing in it as it has drawing because I write as well as draw. And this old scrapbook of wedding card gifts for my parents that we discovered when we cleaned out the house after my mom passed away. It's kind of sweet, but I don't need it here in my studio space. And this is uh, a really nice kit that I use for maybe a closer look. Aren't they luscious? And then Pages. This one's from my book, um, Sketches from the South of France. And the ubiquitous dust.
Well, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Before you go, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell. And if you like the video, click on the like button and leave a comment. I really like to hear from you, and I'll see you next time.